we have to focus on the communities and countries that lag farthest behind. Education is everyone's birthright. I myself was born poor after Korea was devastated by Korean War. I owe everything I have now to education, good education, and investment by the government to investment. And I owe it to the world, to the United Nations, to do everything possible to give all people the same start. And this is our demand, our request to all the responsible people that instead of sending weapons, instead of sending tanks to Afghanistan and all these countries which are suffering from terrorism, send books. Instead of sending tanks, send pens. Instead of sending soldiers, send teachers. This is the only way that we can fight for education. Social damage, human rights, democracy. God is saying, when are they going to get it? We spend, how much do we spend on arms? Somebody was telling me something, I don't, I mean, I don't know the numbers. Uh, 1.7 trillion dollars. I don't know what that represents. But you know, how much would we need to ensure that children everywhere in the world had clean water to drink, had enough food to eat, had decent schools to go to, had a decent home? Let us test ourselves on what we do to help the girl bride, what we do to help the child laborer, what we do to help the girl that is being trafficked, what we do to help the child in conflict. And if we set our attention on helping these people, then we will live up to what Gandhi always advised us. If you're ever in any doubt about what you should do, he said, Recall the face of the poorest person you have ever met, and then you will be in no doubt what your priorities are.